What's up, everybody? OCD Trucking here today, and welcome back to Truck Driver of the American Dream for episode 12. And uh, yeah, we're in this little freaking Indian looking truck. I don't know why we're driving this, but why not? Um, but yeah, we'll uh, <laughs> check this out. Oh, we got people in here. Oh, I can't look over there. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Don't want me to look around, I guess. Okay, and I cannot see my GPS, so I am gonna have to drive in this view, I believe. Uh, man, oh, let's go this way. Yeah, alright. Okay, so we have to fuel up at the uh, at the gas station in arcade. I don't like this truck. This is not an American truck, just saying. But whatever. I don't mind driving a piece of crap. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'll just fill up. Mm, this thing takes a lot more fuel. Do I really need to fill up this whole truck? Or is it going to take forever? Oh my lord. Oh, I guess it holds a thousand liters of fuel, or maybe 900. Probably like 999 or something. Hmm? Yeah. One thousand liters. Man, that's insane. What a machine. Well, we definitely stand out on the road. In this thing, we would stand out if viewed from outer space. Yeah, we, we definitely owe Clint one. What are the odds that there would be such a vehicle in our area, and of all people, I'd be the one who gets to drive it? Not that small, it seems. My father was speechless when I told him. I promised him photos that we'd show him the truck before we took it back. I, like, be you problem. can't see anything. So what's the story with this truck? <laughs> How did it end up here? I can't see the lights. I can't see the I GPS. The didn't fuck? Know either. This shitty All truck. I was that it was probably imported in the 80s. But I left here. I don't, I don't know. know. Who owns it? A former trucker and acquaintance of Clint. He bought it several years back in pretty rough shape, but managed to fix it up. Oh, and I hate driving in third person. It's in the so garage. Practice? Yeah, apparently the guy's a farmer now. What a shame. This truck should be on display for all to see. <laughs> Just keep driving and enjoy the ride. Thanks a lot, man. Really. It's okay. We'll say this I truck seems a little easier to control. I'm seriously considering but Looking I don't at you, like I can it. Tell you're happy. The money's not bad at all. Driving runs in my blood, and so far I've been lucky enough to come across some very decent people in this business. Plus, I like the guy now. And what is it that you don't like? I won't lie, maintaining the truck is a hassle. Plus, I'm hardly ever home and Linda's not very happy about it. Well, I don't have a Linda. That's definitely an advantage. I mean, if you're driving truck. How are you two doing, anyway? 
first she was happy that I finally landed it. Oh my god, I swear all they talk about is freaking problems. Me helping out with the bills seemed to please her as well. Uh-huh, and... Uh-huh. She wants us to go out with friends more often. Her friends mostly. To do things together. When did Clint become an Indian? That isn't so terrible, is it? But she turns it into a chore. And if something doesn't go the way she planned, it's always my fault. Don't you want your own offspring? Of course I do, but I also want to drive a little longer. Oh, this is Ranbeer. But you can't uh, I don't like you. I mean, considering her age, her biological clock is ticking away, my friend. I don't blame her. I'm trying to be there for her whenever I can to help her out. The truth is, relationships grown cold. It's not just in bed. Ouch, sorry, bro. We'll be fine. By the way, a couple of weeks ago I picked up a smoking pot hitchhiker from Clinton. Do you remember her name? <laughs> I don't. Is it Natalie? No. Ah, I don't remember. So she was a hottie, huh? Oh, she sure was. Legs right up to her neck. She was wearing shorts and a tank top to boot. Absolute knockout. She was good company, too. Go away, subtitle. Have you met anyone recently? No, these days I spend all my time online. I truly envy you for being away from social media and the aimless mouse clicking all day long. Oh my lord. I was doing too much gaming before I got this job, but yeah, I still don't care for Insta Face or get me. Or maybe I'm afraid that I might get into it. Considering my experience with gaming, I know that it's easy for me to get hooked on such things. Do you have your game station? Yeah, but to be honest. I've barely switched on lately. I spend my downtime listening to music and reading. When were you last at Fleetwood? I can't remember. It's been a while. Same. It was cool when we were kids and my dad used to take us. Yeah, it was magical for me. How's your dad doing? Well, nowadays his walking stick is his best friend. He mostly just watches cricket, so... My mom is taking care of pretty much everything around the house and the yard. The woes of old age, I suppose. Oh my god, will these people ever stop talking? I'd love to be like your folks when I get to their age. Me too. This is why we don't have story modes for trucking games. She really wants me to find my soulmate. You will, man. Probably soon, too. I know you don't care. No need to. I hope she's also doing well and she's happy. Rambi, I can't remember the last time I've seen you gloomy and down. All right, we're going to Fleetwood. How far is that? Uh, not too much further. <laughs> That's because normally oh, you're and it's the doom and doom. Just kidding. It's no joke. I'm a fucking loser. I get it. But driving makes me feel, I don't know, free. I get to let my mind roam, and for once, I have a sense of belonging. It sounds right, and it makes sense. It's in your blood. Yeah, but. Yeah, the jet can't see the freaking GPS. I can see barely that I had to turn left here. Felt I guess I had to hit rock bottom first to follow my dad's footsteps. Rock bottom? All right. I know it can always be worse, but two months ago, I was a lame sissy, staying at home all day doing nothing. Oh, come on, you're awesome. And check out the great weather today. Here we are, driving an Indian truck around... Fleet. The American dream. Are you sure we're not playing the Canadian dream? Yeah, you're right. Do you want to drive a little? Uh, maybe on the way back. It's not like I haven't driven a truck in the last few months. But not this truck. True. I hate this game. Hello? I'm listening, Mother. How are you, Natty? Are you and Runby having a good time? No, we were hijacked by a pack of feral squirrels. Excuse me? Yup. They've taken us to the nest now, and they want a ransom from you and Rambeer's parents. Huh. Are they at least feeding you? <laughs> Mom, you always find a way to bring food into conversation. And you hardly ever joke with me anymore, so you must be okay. Of course, we're having a great time. We're driving the Indian truck to Fleetwood. What more could one hope for? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Can you come by tonight? 
I've cooked something very special for you. We'll see. I think I'd rather go home. You know, I have a wife. Who has probably made me something nice as well. Oh, I doubt it. Mom. I'll come to see you soon. We'll talk later. Okay, looking forward to it. Have fun, sweetheart, and tell Rambir I said hi. Will do. Bye. My mom says hi. Thanks, how is she? Cooking as usual. I'll go see her soon. Come on. Hey, turning right here, and I think we're getting close.
going to a state park in Fleetwood to a famous site. Relic on the Road is what it's called. Wonder what it is. Yeah, I think we're coming up on it. Blinker is on. Tire time. Huh. Okay, I don't really. Oh, there it is. I see it. I think it's on our left here. Fleetwood State Park. Alright. Park over there, okay? Holy bumpy road, Jesus! Okay, and we're inside the truck. <laughs> How the fuck was that? All right. chapter unlocked relic on the road all right and that's uh pretty much gonna do it for today so we got three thousand bucks for that cool double impact gas station near jamie town september 5th 2015 okay we're back in our normal truck thank god all right so we gotta refuel our truck uh Oh, and we hold a thousand liters now. Cool. All right, and we'll just fill this up. What's going on there? Huh. Hello? Hey, Clint. How are you? I'm all right, young man. And how are you? Good. I'm just filling up my tank, and then I was going to call James. On business? Yeah, but my question's not the usual work-related stuff. It's about the company. I've heard some rumors that it's being sold. They're kind of keeping us in the dark over here, and I'm concerned. To be honest, I'm getting pretty frustrated. Okay, so you know. Or at least you've guessed what's happening. You're right, the company's gonna have a new owner. In fact, Furious Delivery will practically be absorbed and most of its current staff uh. will work for the new owner. How did you find out? Man, I'm even more anxious now. I spoke with James. Sven wants to leave the business. They're about to seal the deal and it's only a matter of days Hurry before up. it's announced. Damn, I'm calling James as soon as we get off the phone. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, call him. But try to calm down a little. Everything's gonna be okay. You're one of the young leaders of Furious. Did James say anything about me? You should call and have a talk with him. <laughs> okay, that's gonna do it for today, because I can't take this anymore. Alright, so uh, tune in next episode, where we will be back yeah. at Nanthal for episode 2. And the truck driver for 19, New American, Piney Run, The Mythical Woods uh, for episode 11. Then Construction Simulator for 9 and 10, Weimar Canada for 11, Firm Bus Coach Simulator for episode 20, Alma, Missouri, Alone in the World, Big Plats, Texas, all for a John Deere map tour in episode 1. So that's gonna do it for today, though. So till next time, OCD Trucking signing out. Uh, peace out.